Welcome back to another video. We have a four Focus. I'll get the year in a second. Um, we're gonna be replacing the rear calipers. I already did the other side. Now we're doing the passenger side, but it's the same exact concept as the driver. So as you can see, I have no clue where they got it, honestly. There's the part number. Here's the kind of, you know, where they made it. So there's the part number. And without further ado, I'm gonna show you all the tools you need to get this job done and you don't gotta pay a local mechanic. See, first thing you wanna do, jack the car up for the jack stand and then take the wheel off. And then for the socket for the wheel is a 19 millimeter. That's why I love Milwaukee. And that's just the three amp battery, you know? If I have the bigger battery, it'll take it out a lot faster. Take your wheel off you want to just take it out put it under the car for more safety all right put it on there the background noise i got some neighbor cutting the lawn but uh first thing you want to do is remove these little rubber grommet things that's one you can see it fell down there and there's another one on this side just like that all right what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna remove the e-brake cable first. So it is kind of tricky, so I am gonna try to get a camera angle for you. But what I did was, I used, you know, this right here. I clamped it down, pushed it back, somewhat pushed this, and then, um, you know, just remove it. But you can also remove, since the new caliper brings it, it makes it much easier to actually just take that spring out. Just be careful, because it goes flying. So this spring kind of puts a lot of tension there. And then now, as you can see, it moves. I'll get closer to you. It moves now, so let me see if I can do it with one hand. Uh, there's not too much tension, and you can actually, you know, I gotta do it with both hands, but you get the idea. Just remove that cable, uh, e brake cable. Once you remove that e brake cable, go ahead and take your tool out, and you can wiggle it out here if you want. Um, but we're just gonna keep it there for now, because we're gonna go and do the bolts back here. So, what we're gonna use here is a T45 for these bolts right in there. I know it's an Allen wrench, uh, Allen key, but this works just as well. So remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So go ahead and remove those bolts. You got those bolt loose, you kinda wanna get a flathead cause they do get kinda stuck in there from the time, you know, there's no uh, lubrication or nothing. Kinda just wanna push them that way. You can see. Just like that, do that to the other side. Just like that. And then you should be able to pry the caliper out. All right. All right, and then the e-brake cable kind of just comes out like that. And then just kind of set it to the side for now. I'm just gonna put it back here. All right. And then to take that line out, the best way that I found to do it was to uh, put this bolt back on like this. Put the bolt back on and, and you know, tie it. Then take a 14 millimeter and just, you know, to loosen it up. And we're just tightening this bolt back up. So at least it has enough to, you know, break it loose. And you're gonna go ahead and get your 14. And then just like that. See, it got it loose. Now it's loose. And I can go ahead and um, remove that bowl again. And... All right, take the caliper out. And you kind of just want to twist, hold the line, and then turn the caliper, to remove it from the line. So I'm kind of just twisting the caliper while holding the line. And then you kind of want to do it pretty fast when you go towards putting the new caliper on. And I'm using the actual caliper to hold the phone, so I got I got to bleed it anyways. Yeah, you have to bleed this uh, job when you do it, okay? So it might leak out a little bit, and you have to bleed it regardless. All right, so here's the old caliper, and then I'm gonna get the new caliper that's holding the phone right now, and install it there. So same thing, putting it back. Just hold the line in place and turn it. Turn it and turn it. And turn it, turn it, turn it till you can't no more, right? And then you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Put the bolt here, like I said, put the bolt up top, and then the way you lose.
broke it loose, you kind of tighten it up. We'll need to reuse your old hardware unless you got new hardware. Um, and then put some type of lubrication. The caliper does bring a little bit, but I like to put a little extra. Just, you know, because why not? And then you put these slider pins back. You know, right now we're using it so we can um, put it back like I told you. Tighten, so I use it so I can, um, you know, uh, tighten the brake line. So that's what we're doing right now. And then we'll just put the caliper back the same way we took it off. It's back reverse or whatever, everything basically now. So that's how it should look like. And I'm just tightening it up. That's all we're doing. We're just going to snug it tight there. That's the only reason why I'm putting that bolt there, okay? And that is pretty tight. I'm going to do it one more time just to be safe. All right. That's tight. That's good. All right. When it comes to the e-brake, you just slide it through again, same hole, you know, where it came from. And then you use, where's the tool I had? Use one of these. You can use one of these, you can use one of these. I like this, preferred. Um, Just kind of put it in place, you know, push this way and then put it in place. And remember, you have to bleed the brakes when you do this job. So the bleeder is right over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the customer uh, pump the brakes while um, I release the, the, the bleeder valve here and take all the air out the line and then after that you should be done and ready to go so you will need two people unless you get um, kind of one operation you can look up on YouTube anywhere and do the one main operation one uh, fortunately I don't have it at the moment because I left it at the house so without further ado that's how you replace your caliper uh, make sure if anything look up a video how to do your, the bleeding and um Hope this, you learned anything because I didn't see any caliper videos done for this car yet. So there you go. Um, hope you learned anything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. When you uh, pump it 10 times, let me know when you pumped it 10 times. So she, all right. So she pumped it 10 times. Yep. Hold it. All right. Go ahead and pump it 10 more times. So while she's pumping, pressure's building up and then all that air is coming out. Um, you want to make sure there's no bubbles, no um, spitting out or nothing. You want to make sure there's a nice stream of, you know, of oil. You good? Yeah. All right, that feels good. That looks good. All right, one, one more time. Good? Yeah. All right. And that looks really good. You can see that's how you want to see it. I'm going to close it up and this side is ready and that's the same thing you do on the other side.